The view here at the iconic Jonas restaurant has to be one of the best on Sydney's northern beaches. But the serenity is a far cry from the hard-fought battles on the rugby field between the Wallabies and the British and Irish Lions. And the main reason we're here today is to get an insight into what it's like to take on the Lions and what it takes to beat them. There are four special guests, 1989 Wallabies coach and captain Bob Dwyer and Nick Farr-Jones, and the 2001 coach and captain Rod McQueen and John Eels. They had a big tough pack, I mean they had three bobbies in the tack. You know? We didn't know anything about these guys. We had to get Eelsy to put his gear on different change for him in case the rest of the forward pack saw Eelsy with his jersey off. The series had been so toughly fought going into that last game. Master Chef contestant and pro golfer Lucas Parsons treated the Wallabies guest to a Four Nations feast with a touch of Australiana. First of all, we're going to have a kangaroo from Australia. And then we're going to go to Scotland and have a scotched egg. And then Cole Cannon from Ireland and uh, Welsh rarebit uh, from Wales. Finish it off with strawberries and cream. And also we're going to match all the food with wine from the rugby nations of the world. Bob, a lot of our younger viewers won't recall the 1989 series. You labelled them the dirtiest team you had ever seen in rugby. Well, that's true. Um, you say things and they stick for a long while, don't they? And I'd never really been involved in a team that had an organised approach to dirty play before. I think if it wasn't for that series, we, we mightn't have gone on to win the 91 World Cup. If I've got any regrets, it's that we didn't beat those bastards. And one of the things that we prided ourselves on was always being um, really well prepared. 2001, it was like an ambush. Lions fans came out of nowhere. And the Wallabies started on the back foot, didn't they? I have no doubt that as composed a team as we were over a long period of time, as consistent a team as we were, we were stunned that night. We really didn't realise how what an expansive game they were going to play, and that was one of the things that we really um, you know, it took us by surprise a lot in the first in the first game we came. They really played an expansive game. They've been doing a lot of work on it, and uh, and they you know, they're a very good team. For someone who's won a series against the Lions, what's your message to the current crop of Wallabies? For the guys to do well, it's a physical challenge, but it's also very much a mental challenge, and you have to win both. They have to realise that this is going to be different to any other game they've played. Totally different to most Test matches and World Cup. It's a, it's a totally different challenge altogether.